Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my September Nature Box unboxing for you guys and I honestly can't wait to see what's in here this month. So let's get into it. First up is a brand new product. We have Blueberry Almond Quinoa Bites. This is what the package looks like. So let's open these up and we'll see what these bad boys are like. So this is what the product looks like. It's basically a little square chunk of quinoa with dried blueberries in it. So this has roasted cashews, pumpkin seeds, roasted almonds, dried blueberries, rice syrup, cane sugar, quinoa, palm oil, sesame seeds, natural blueberry flavor, and sea salt. That is it. That is everything that is in this ingredients list. So let's give this one a try and see how it is. It's actually really good. I really like the taste of the blueberry. Obviously, I love the taste of the almonds. Lately, I've been really getting into quinoa, as you might have seen in some of my What I Ate Wednesday videos. I've been really loving um, quinoa salads. They are amazing. But in this form, they are really good too. I will definitely be snacking on these. These are super, super delicious. Next up, we have another new product, and this is sour cream and onion straws. Now again, the only thing I don't like about this packaging is that I do have to use scissors to open it and it's not resealable like these lovely bags are. I really hope Nature Box isn't phasing out those bags and turning to bags like these because I honestly really, really dislike this packaging. I really do like the packaging where you can rip off the top and it is resealable. But no worries, hopefully Nature Box will change all their packaging to the resealable kind. We will see. So this is what the product looks like. It's a hollow type of straw. It definitely smells like a sour cream and onion chip, so let's see what it tastes like. Mm, they're very good. Some of them are green and then some of them have like a more yellowish tone to them. Mm. They are actually really good. They are very light and very airy. Kind of more so like a um, kind of like a cheesy that sort of texture, but not as sticky if that makes sense. I find sometimes when you have cheesies or cheat not necessarily Cheetos, but like the no name brand cheesies, I find when you start eating them, they almost have like a sticky texture after they start getting wet. These don't. They um, break down really fast and really easy. Yeah, and then they're gone basically. But the flavor of them is very nice. It's not an off-putting flavor whatsoever. It's actually very nice, very light. It's not overpowering, which is good. I will definitely be snacking on these and I'm sure my kids will love these as well. Next up, we have sweet blueberry almonds. We have gotten these before, but I still love them the same. Almonds are my absolute favorite, not right now. And they are just a whole almond, as you can see. And they just have a blueberry flavored powder on the outside. Mm -hmm. they're very sweet have that nice blueberry flavor to them but they're also somewhat buttery from the almond it's a really really good combination I would definitely recommend if you like blueberries and you like almonds to definitely try these ones out this is called the cashew crumble and it is cookie coated cashews can I say more these just sound absolutely amazing and I really hope they taste amazing too Oh my god guys, the bag smells amazing. So this is what it looks like. It's basically a little cluster of cashews with some cookie crumbs surrounding it. So let's try this one out. Oh my god. You couldn't ask for a better snack. Seriously, if you're craving something sweet, this... <laughs> This will do it for you, for sure. Mm. These are so, so good. Mm. If you have a sweet tooth, if you like sweet, salty flavors, this will definitely do it for you. But what I like is that it's not overly sweet and it's not overly salty. It is a great combination. And I mean, oh, come on, look at that, guys. How could you not want to try that? It is so buttery so creamy once you start eating it it is absolutely amazing oh my god i absolutely love these all right guys so this is our last snack that we have in the box today 
and it is called salt and vinegar veggie chips. Now, again, I do not care for the packaging whatsoever, but not much you can do about that. So, just cut off the top there. So this is what the bag looks like. If you can see in there, there's a bunch of different veggie chips in there. Now, I'm not sure exactly what what veggies are included in here. Let's see, there's plantains, cassava, tania, purple sweet potatoes, palm olein, salt, and natural vinegar flavor. That is it, guys. That is all that is in here. So these are just dried out vegetables, essentially, with a little bit of salt and vinegar on them. So let's give these a try and see what they're like. I'm not big into vinegar, but this seems kind of like the best option, so we'll try and see what it's like. It doesn't have an overpoweringly vinegar smell, so hopefully they're not too vinegary. We'll see. So that is what that one looks like. I'm not sure what one that is. I don't believe it. it's definitely not a plantain, and it's definitely not a purple sweet potato. So maybe it's the cassava or tania. Not sure. <laughs> It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. For sure. You know, there's like a little orange one in there. And I'm not sure which one that is. Definitely not bad. They don't taste bad. Definitely not. They're just a little bit different. But there's definitely not a bad taste with these. Now, I definitely know what this is. This is a plantain. I knew I would like that because I love plantain anyway. So... Now let's see if we can find some of those purple sweet potatoes. There doesn't seem to be many. Okay, here we go. I think that's one of them. So let's give it a try. They're not awful. Definitely not awful, but I think they just take a little bit of getting used to. If you're used to regular plain potato chips, like I said, they don't have an off-putting taste. It's just slightly different. There's... It's definitely not a bad taste. I think if these veggie chips were the only thing that I ate for a while, I would definitely get off the taste of the potato chips. And the potato chips would probably taste weird to me as well. But these, they're not bad. After eating more and more, the taste kind of grows on you. So, There's a shot of what one of the bigger ones look like. Unfortunately, a lot of them kind of like broke up really, really tiny. But the plantains are definitely my number one favorite. So, I could eat them all day. <laughs> Let's be honest. If you're already signed up to Nature Box, you should definitely give them a try if you're trying to get off of regular potato chips. They are definitely a great option. So that was everything that we got in our September Nature Box. If you guys like these types of videos and you'd like to see more, don't forget to click like. So I know you guys like seeing these types of videos. And don't forget to click that subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when I upload new content. Until next time, guys, I will talk to you all soon. Bye!